Hi, I'm Steve from the Canon Collective and welcome to Photo Boot Camp. Today we're going to talk a little bit more about capturing some great portrait images, particularly when you're doing some travel photography. Portrait photography is about capturing a look, a smile and an emotion. Great portrait photos use a combination of depth of field, sharpness and also nice lighting. One of the key ingredients to getting a great portrait photo is getting your lighting right. And outdoors there's three different types of lighting conditions. Dappled lighting, backlit situations and the most ideal conditions for portrait photography is overcast. In this instance we've got some dappled lighting hitting my subject Christina behind me. To get rid of those dark shadows what we can do is pop our flash up and that will balance the image quite nicely. The best conditions for taking portraits is in overcast or shady conditions. We've taken a quick walk up the hill to take advantage of the shade under the Harbour Bridge to get a really nice balanced exposure in my portrait. And you don't even have to pop your flash up. You don't always have to have the subject in the centre of the frame. What we want to do in this instance is include Christina into this landscape photograph. What you need to do is find focus on Christina and pull left to right to include the Harbour Bridge and then take your shot. This will give us a great travel portrait. I want to talk to you a little bit more about depth of field. Now what depth of field is, is how much the background or the foreground is in or out of focus. For the majority of the shoot, we've been using the standard kit lens, the 18 to 55. We're going to change things up a little bit and use the new 50mm 1.8 portrait lens. What this does, it gives us an incredibly shallow depth of field and it will really bring Christina out from that background. In these shooting conditions, we want to change from our auto white balance from AWB to shade. This actually gives us a nice warm tone through the image and especially warm skin tones. So what are you doing? Go out there and take some photos.